Welcome to the Windows Club. If you encounter the Windows 10 stall error 0x803FB005, which looks something like this, then you might want to read this article on the Windows Club for the resolution. We have shared the link to it in the description section or simply watch this video. The first resolution would be to sign out of the Microsoft Store and sign back in. If you are lucky, it would work automatically. Simply click on this icon, select your account and click on sign out. That should do the job. Then you can sign back in and that could be very helpful. If it does not work, then you can run the Windows Store Apps Troubleshooter. This is done as follows. Click on Start, select Settings, scroll down to Updates and Security, go to the Troubleshoot tab, click on Additional Troubleshooters, scroll down to the Windows Store Apps Troubleshooter and select Run the Troubleshooter. It will need a few minutes, it will find whether the issue is with Windows Store or not and if it is, can it resolve it? If it cannot resolve it, at least can it declare it. But if the Windows Store app troubleshooter does not help, then you may want to check on some Windows services, especially those related to Windows updates and that in turn is related to the Windows Store. So press Windows plus R to open the run window. Type the command services.msc and hit enter. This will open the service manager window. Now in this list which is arranged alphabetically, scroll down to background intelligence transfer service, right click on it and select properties. Make sure the startup type is selected at automatic and the service status is started. Now in my case it wasn't so I just started it and then click on apply and then on ok. Next, you can check the Windows Update Service which again can be searched through scrolling through the list in alphabetical order and here is Windows Update. Right click on it, select properties, again startup type at automatic, service status at start and then click on apply and then on ok and you are done with it. Now if the services are on and you are still encountering this error, then you can go for the nuclear option which is to reset the Microsoft Store totally. And this can be done as follows. Click on start, go to settings, go to apps, in the apps and features tab which is selected by default, scroll down to Microsoft Store. Here it is and then Click on Advanced Options, scroll down to Reset, click on this option, give the permissions, it may need administrator permissions and then this way you would be able to reset the Microsoft Store. Till here we have completed every possible troubleshooting with the Microsoft Store application and if the issue hasn't been resolved till now, it means that there could be missing or corrupt files with the system and in such a situation you can run the SFC or DISF scan. So the procedure for it is to search for command prompt in the windows search bar. Select run as administrator. I'll click on open but you have to select run as administrator and then type the command SFC space forward slash scan now. Hit enter, it will process the SFC scan command and then when you reboot the system it will start scanning through the files and start replacing the missing and corrupt files. It's an excellent way to recover all those missing and corrupt files and resolve a lot of problems. Rather I perform an SFC scan on my system from time to time even if there is no error. Lastly, you need to ensure that the windows firewall is not disabled. Now here's how you can do it, click on start, select settings, go to 
the option which reads along with security now in this case it's update and security go to windows security this tab and then firewall and network protection let this window open and here you can expand it and check this that the public network firewall is on private network firewall is on domain network firewall is on and if it is not then click on that specific network and make sure that you switch on the toggle switch associated with the microsoft defender firewall does it not help you with resolving the error if the error hasn't resolved till now then go to the original article on the windows club scroll down to the comment section and write your query we will surely answer to it do not forget to subscribe to the channel thank you for watching this video and have a nice day